Hi, I'm Steve. I'm with Explore RV Imperial Outdoors, and we are at the Flagstaff Overland Expo. And it's always a fun time here. So we love coming here. We come all the way from Wisconsin, St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, we've been making overland trailers since 2000, and before that we were making ice houses in the cold northwest. And it gets to about 40 degrees below zero up there, so we got a lot of experience working with the cold weather. So we use that same technology with these trailers. These trailers are all good to 40 below zero. They have air ride suspension system on them, and we can raise and lower the suspension for getting you in and out of the back country. So we use a box, a six inch box section perimeter frame. So you've got a super robust system that runs the full length of the trailer. If you actually uh, were to bury the trailer in the tow vehicle, you could recover both of them from the D-rings on the back of the trailer. That's how strong the frame is. We've got a fully enclosed metal box. We have storage on one side, propane storage on this side, mono recovery board up on top. This trailer actually has um, 740 watts of solar on the roof and 1,080 amp hours of lithium. Uh, the walls are almost three inches thick, which gives us that weather resistance we look for to keep warm in the in the very cold north. It's also great at 120 degrees too. We use the uh, D045 Cruise Master hitch. It's the heaviest duty hitch on the market. It's a 360 degree swivel hitch. It allows you to basically go anywhere without risk of dropping your trailer. So this is our control center for the uh, air ride system, as well as our water. You've got a full Cruise Master air control system, power, tank, drain, air line out if you need to air up a bicycle tire or something else, manual fill if necessary, uh, full water flushing system. This will actually pull water out of a out of a 55 gallon drum if you need to pull water in. We have our two uh, tanks right here are enclosed in metal. You can see just underneath the coach. Both of them have metal enclosures and protected from the elements on the bottom. The fender wheels are all metal. Like I said before, you can raise and lower the, the axle system for rougher terrain. We are a full glass wall enclosure. Like I said, almost three inches thick. And then we have a metal extrusion that is our subframe for the exterior. We have 740 watts of solar on this coach, which fills the whole roof, aside from the air conditioner. And uh, we didn't want to put a whole bunch of holes in the roof to mount the solar panels, so we designed a system that attaches to a roof rack system. So all our panels are rivet nutted to the roof rack system, and then the roof rack system is actually attached to the T-rail system that we have on the whole coach. So this is our smaller trailer. It's a couples trailer. Um, we use um, uh, double pane acrylic windows with nitrogen gas in them to increase their weather resistance. We've got full wooden cabinets throughout with metal latches and metal four-way adjustable hinges. I've ran this trailer for 30 days without charging it just based on the solar. We're at 100% right now and we could run the AC all day and we'd still be at 100%. We do use a 12 volt Dometic air conditioner in here which is super efficient and very very quiet. Nice little kitchen area, stainless steel. We use an induction stove so it uses electricity so it's a renewable resource with this trailer because we have so much extra power. The only thing we use for uh, propane is the furnace. We have a Truma Combi Plus that we use to heat this coach as well as heat the hot water. Here you can see the bathroom. We have a full walk-in shower with a bench. We use a dry flush toilet on this trailer, so there's no black tank. So we also have 60 gallons of fresh water on this coach, as well as 60 gallon of gray. They are insulated, they have ducted heat, and they have heat pads as well. Again, more along the lines of keeping you warm or keeping you cool wherever you may be. So if you look under the bed, you can see our power center here. We have the 1,080 amp hours of lithium, and then a 2,000 watt inverter, and then the two MPPT control units for the roof. So again, I'm Steve from uh, Imperial Outdoors, and you can find more information from us and your local dealer on our website, imperialoutdoors.com.